Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be talking about clarinet pads, bladder pads, cork based clarinet pads, how to install the root pads for clarinet. Bladder pads, it's made out of cardboard. It's got some sort of felt, whether it be a woven felt or press felt, and then it has bladder wrapped around that. First one we have here is our medium woven. It's got the felt, the step with the cardboard, and then it's wrapped in that bladder. Which pad would you recommend for somebody who's just starting out? I would recommend the woven felt. It's a little more forgiving when you're putting a seat in it. It still feels very firm to the player and you'll still have a good feel while playing. Cork pads, for any of you out there that think that they can just take a piece of sheet cork and punch the pad, it will work and it'll fit but it won't seal right. This is a cork pad. This is basically what it would look like right out of the box while you order it. The great thing about cork is that it's very shapeable. So if you look at this, it's got a bevel on this side on the top. If you have it beveled, it kind of, it gives it a little more of like a funnel flow action. So less resistance, you would put the glue on this side, attach it to a nail, throw it up in a bench motor. As it's spinning, put that sand stick right up against there. Make sure that you don't put too strong of a bevel on it because certain tone holes on clarinet can be a little bit bigger. Now on the website, we have a variety of grits of sandpaper mm -hmm. on these sanding sticks and they're just sold by color. These are our base clarinet pads. This is our traditional tan. This is our rue leather base clarinet pad. If you look at the thickness, they're the same, just the leather or the skin is different. I will use, this as the example. So this pad, saxophone pad, a little bit thicker than that roof pad. Thickness on those will usually measure around 3.5 millimeters. Saxophone pad, these will measure 4 to 4.2 millimeters. If you guys are working on bass clarinet, you'll see a lot of them will have either a metal or a plastic resonator on them. However, if it's using white pads, you can absolutely order these. You can either punch a hole in the center yourself and add a resonator, or uh, while you're placing an order, because we have our in-house pad shop and we do a lot of customizations, you can add that into your comments. I would like plastic resonators, metal resonators, or just a hole punched. These roux pads that we that we make here uh, for clarinet, the great thing about these pads, it has the leather on the outside, but it also gives you the step of the bladder pad. I will actually cut into this pad so we can look at it. First big thing you're going to notice, there's actually a step there. So the cardboard back is smaller than the felt. This is the same idea as the regular bladder skin that gives you that step as far as the stability to put some of the actual pad on the outside of the pad cup to give you a firm feel when you're playing. I'm actually going to pull this back and reveal this yellow part is actually bladder skin. It will give you the best airtight seal you could possibly get out of a leather pad. So you get a pad that seals 100% Plus it doesn't stick, plus it has a great feel for the player. So to install these, so this is a 16 millimeter pad cup. Now, if we're thinking a, like a standard leather pad or a cork pad or just a regular cylindrical pad, you would buy the size pad that would actually measure this. So you'd buy a 16. Unlike that, the roux pad, which has that step in it, to add a millimeter to the pad size because of that step. So in this instance, I'll be using a 17 millimeter pad because the outside is 17 but the inside step is 16. My personal preference are the hot glue pellets. The melting point is good. It's easy to work with. Very, very easy to get the correct amount in there because it's in pellet form. This is an amber melt shellac, this one here. And then we also have a synthetic shellac, which is the clear one in the upper corner there. The white pellets, they're a little bit larger. And then you have the yellow or sometimes also referred to as the amber glue pellets. I'll usually range anywhere between 10 and 14 glue pellets. Make sure that the, the pad cup is full of the glue and it also fills in the little well. I'm gonna heat up this pad cup a little bit. The reason I'm doing the bottom first is to melt those pellets just enough. It won't blow the pellets around and remove them away. So what are you doing right now? I was basically pushing the pad down and turning. So that makes sure that the glue is pressed inside the pad cup really well and turning it distributes the glue with inside the pad cup evenly. Once you put it on the body, you can heat it up and level it out. You're using the Vortex Air Torque. Okay, and that's a hot air gun and it's something that we developed here. It allows you to control the amount of airflow, the amount of heat. Because it's hot air, it's not gonna burn any sort of 
clarinet body like wood or, or ABS plastic. So if you're getting into repair, what would be the most popular sizes, the most common sizes that technicians like yourself order? We actually offer something very cool like this. It's a pad assortment. This particular one is the medium press felt. First of all, you get this handy dandy case. When you open it up, it actually has the pad sizes. You'll see it goes in half sizes. These sizes right here are the most common sizes that you would need and want for any traditional B-flat clarinet, like overhaul or just an adjustment. The assortments that we sell, we price the pads uh, at the 100s quantity discount. So with these assortments, you get a variety of sizes of pads all sold at the hundreds price break. If you are watching this and you want to maybe try one of these pads out, you can always contact us for samples. You can contact us through the comments here. You can also reach us through musicmedic.com. You can write me direct, directly. It's just my name, Rich, R-I-C-H, at musicmedic.com. You can ask for a sample. We'll be happy to send you one of these pads so you can check them out. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, guys, happy repairing.